Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Well, guess what? We made it back again. Yes, we did. Did you have a good time last week? Do you remember what we spoke about last week? And the scriptures I gave you? And the assignments I gave you? Well, let's go ahead and open in prayer first. All right, little ones? We missed you. And we got special guests today. We got a bunch of surprises today. And we're going to have a lot of fun together today. And I hope, and I hope that you have a lot of fun too. Okay? Let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for this time. We thank you for the special guest we have today, Lord. And uh, we just give you this ministry and this time. And I pray, Father, that we just have fun, fun, fun today. And that we get to know you better. And we know you better when we're all done. And we know you better than when we signed on, Lord. And we just give you this time of day. Amen. Amen. Does anybody remember the scripture, one of the scriptures from last week? I didn't hear you. Do you remember what one of them was? I do. And it's, I'm going to show you. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 8.10. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Can you read that? Oh, there we go. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 8.10. And we talked a little bit about Silas and Paul. How they were stuck in a smelly place. And they couldn't eat their McDonald's. And they were in a place where they really didn't want to be. But at the same time, God turned it around and used it for the good and they stayed there and they didn't complain and they praised the Lord and they sang songs of rejoice to the Lord. And guess what? They ended up saving others just by the way that they behaved and the joy that they had. They had so much joy that even the people around them said, I want what they have. What is it that they have? And they were able to give them Jesus, weren't they? Well, today, we've got a couple other scriptures we're going to learn. And I want to show you something real quick. I got a blanket here. Right here, it's a pretty blanket. It's got a couple angels on it. But it's a blanket. You know what a blanket does? It covers you up. And you know... We all live in a house, don't we? Most of us live in a house. Thank goodness. We're blessed to do that. All different kinds of houses. You get square ones. You get tall ones. You get small ones. You get underground ones. Where do you think Jesus lives? Do you think he has a house? Remember last week and I spoke about those two balloons and the heart? And when Jesus knocks at that door, he says, knock, knock, knock. He knocks at that door, and we open it up, and we let him in. Then he comes to live in our heart, and that is his house. And everyone that opens that door, Jesus comes to live in them. And we become Jesus' house. And guess what? When we do that, you see this? Oh, I'm going to put it around me. And I'm going to cover me up. And I'm nice and warm, aren't I? And I'm comfortable. And I'm protected. And do you know what this is? When we ask Jesus into our heart, this is the Holy Spirit. And he comes and he comforts us. And he covers us and he lives in us. And he teaches us and he guides us. Isn't that neat when we ask Jesus into our heart? into our heart, we become Jesus' house. And we get the Holy Spirit with it. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of men and that they built a house too. And we had a wise man and we had a foolish man. And let's wait to find out 
what kind of houses they built. Okay? But right now, we've got a couple of special guests. And uh, we're all excited. Yes, yes, yes. We have Cruz. Where's Cruz? Who's, who's this? Cruz. Hello, Cruz. That's Cruz. And we also have Bobo. Bobo. Oh, look at Bobo. Hi, Bobo. And they're so excited to be here today to join in with the fun and to learn and to They've got something special to share with you, kids. Would you like to hear it? I didn't hear that. Oh, oh. oh would oh, you like Bobo. to hear them? Bobo, what's wrong, okay, let's, Bobo? let's listen, okay? Bobo, what are you telling They've me? They've got something to tell you. What, what is it, Bobo? Oh, Cruz, what is it? Oh, oh Cruz. Cruz is shy, boys and girls. Tell yeah, Cruz he shouldn't be shy. We all love him, don't we? Can you all say, we love you, Cruz. We're glad that you're here today. Oh, Cruz has never been to Sunday school before, and he doesn't understand what's going on. Should we tell him about Jesus today? But first of all, Cruz watched the TV show last week. Oh, he was so excited. And he did a project just like Pastor Rosie asked us. Cruz, would you? Pastor Rosie, look. Cruz has what? something for you. What is that? Should I get it? Oh, oh, I love stuff. Okay, I got it. <gasps> am I supposed to read this? Cruz, am I supposed to read this? <gasps> Roses are red and Violets are blue. You are the best teacher, and we love you. Oh, isn't that? Oh, I got to show you. I got to show you guys. Look at that. And it's on a big heart. Isn't that special? Oh, hold on. Roses are red. Isn't that neat? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Guess what? Is there something else there? Yes, what is yes, that? Yes, Pastor. Yes. Pastor, come and get Do the gift. Do I get gift. it? Oh, come oh. and get the gift. Oh, uh, look at it. It's a gift. It's a special gift. Oh, do I get to open it? Okay, I'm going to open it up. You guys want me to open it up? You think I should? No. Oh, yes. Okay. What do you think's in here? Let's see. Here I go. Oh, it's, what is that? What is that? What is that, kids? That looks like a, a treat. Should I, should I eat this treat, kids? Oh, it looks kind of yummy. Should I eat it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, oh, Pastor, oh. Yeah. oh, I don't know. You think that's for me? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, maybe, maybe, Cruz, would you like the, a bite? Okay, okay. Here you go, Cruz. Oh, is that good? Oh, wow, he likes it. I like Sharon. You know, remember last week? And I told you someone who was and a fireman, someone in your family, and to make that special card with glitter. And I hope that you did that. And I hope that when you gave it to them, it really made them happy and lifted them up and dried their tears. Okay. Uh, Cruz and Bobo, they got something else to tell you. Okay. I love to sing, Cruz. Want to hear my song? Okay. Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day.
day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow. Wow. 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 Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. 
I make your large heart and be the Lord of my life and be the Lord of my life. I believe your blood was shed on the cross. I believe your blood was shed on the cross and takes away all my sins and takes away all my sins. Oh yeah, boys and girls! Cruise, cruise your heart. Look at your heart. Oh my gosh, look! Look at the boy and girl! His heart is all red, it's covered with the blood of Jesus! Yay! 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 Wow, that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Let's give Cruz and Bobo a hand, okay? Good job. We love you. Cruz and Bobo, could you stick around for just a minute? Okay. We got a special guest that's going to be coming on. And uh, first of all, we want to, our scripture of the week is going to be James 1. 22. And guess what that says? When we build our house on the rock or the sand, and we build our house on that rock, that's Jesus. And right here it says, build your house on the rock. Jesus is the rock. Right here, one more time. Build your house on the rock. Jesus is the rock. And do you know what? The Word of God in the Bible, and you can read it, you can read that Word of God, and that is what makes you strong. Remember how you said that? But it says, do not merely listen to the Word and so deceive yourself, but do what it says. So you don't just want to be reading the Word, you want to be a doer of the Word also. You know what that means? When that says, love your enemies or bless your enemies, when someone makes you mad, whether it's your brother, your sister, or your neighbor, or whoever it is, guess what? It says we need to bless them and to pray for them. And that's not easy to do sometimes, but that's what we need to do. And so when we're reading the Word of God and it's getting in our heart, the Holy Spirit helps us to do what the Word says. But we've got to ask Him and spend time with Him and read His Word and ask Jesus to help us. And He's our rock, isn't He? Yeah. Okay, so we got a special guest today that's been missing all of you guys like crazy. Because we can't get together like we did. But that'll come one day. Until then, we are going to get to still see you and spend time with you. And so we got a special guest. Miss Michelle's here today. One of your most favorite teachers, isn't she? Mine, too. And Miss Shirley. Hi She's kids. one, too. Hi. Look at there, Miss Michelle. I brought my milk. Look at that. Have some milk today. What do you have there, Miss Michelle? Look at this. I have some milk. Oh, am I am I supposed to drink that milk? That's my milk. Oh, that's her milk. I want to be strong and healthy. Strong and healthy. What do you think about that, kids? Should we be strong and healthy? Yes. I didn't hear you. <gasps> yes. Oh, well, how do we get strong and healthy, Miss Michelle? We read the Word of God. Well, how do we get our strong body and strong and healthy? Well, just like this, we exercise. Oh. We give ourselves good nourishment. We drink our milk. Can I try your exercise? Sure, you do will that, that while I have my milk. Will that give me a big muscle? Oh, yes. There's oh, lots of oh, things you can oh, do with oh, that. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, Cheers. Oh, oh, you guys, I, I you don't can know. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, come on, come on. You can do it. Miss Michelle, push, push, push. how can you be so strong? <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh, maybe you should drink the milk. Oh, no. <laughs> She's going to drink that milk. Is that going to make her strong? Ooh. Ooh, is that good milk? So good. She's going to grow strong. 
What happens if you don't drink that milk? Well, you kind of shrink down and you're weak and you're... Can you die? Oh, yes. <gasps> if yes. you don't drink that milk, you guys? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Is that good milk? It's delicious. I've even seen chocolate milk before. Is there any Oreos? No Oreos. No. Well, at least we drink our milk and we're going to live. What happens to our spiritual man? What does he drink? The word of God. He drinks the word of God. Yes. Every day? Every day. Yes. Every day. If mm -hmm. he wants to be strong and healthy. And then the spiritual man, he grows up strong. Man, yes, yes. And he knows the Lord then, doesn't he? Yes. Wow. It helps us get through all the difficulties in life. The stronger we are, the better it is. No matter what our circumstances, we can have joy. And just by drinking and eating out of the Word of God every yes. day. So yes. what happens when, when a storm comes through and starts to blow you over and maybe the kids at school are picking on you and and life is hard that day. And Well, we're building our life on the rock. Oh. The Strong rock is foundation. Jesus. So when those storms come, they can't hurt us. Nope, they can't, can they? No, nope. Because he protects us. Yes. And he fights for us. Yes. And we can have joy in him. Yes. He is my strength. He is your strength, yes. isn't he? Yes. What would we do without him? I don't want to know. I, I don't, don't either. No. So what did we learn today? Build your house on the rock. Jesus is the rock and the word of God. And that's how we grow, grow, grow and get strong in the Lord. Hello, Miss Michelle. I think we have a song we're going to sing. We do. Let's get that song. We do. We're going to sing a song together, everybody. And it's called Standing on the Promises of God. And uh, we're going to have our... Cruz and Bobo, who are going to sing with us here. Okay. I am Caroline. And I'm Ethel. I will pray every day. Wait. Pray every day. Pray. Yep. Wrong song. Read your back. Wrong song, everybody. <laughs> That's okay. They can edit that. Pause. Steven. Can you tell us? Here we go. Shall we? The promises of Christ the King.
Yes, we do, but we need a special guest. And Bobo, you might want to go home for a minute. Cruz, Bobo's got to go home. Bye-bye, baby. I was yes. Oh, yes, we do. We got a special guest coming in, and she's missed us. She's missed you all, and that is Miss Shirley. She can't wait to get back and to teach and to play, but right now she's here today Hi. with us. Hi, everybody. And she's going to sing a song with you, okay? You all know this song. We've sang it ever since we were little, 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 little ones. Okay? Okay. It's read your Bible, pray every day, okay? Do you remember that one? Okay. Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll forget to pray, forget to pray. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. Big and talk. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. So tall and so big. Good job. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Thank you, thank you. And we'll all be back together pretty soon, everybody, okay? And we all miss you and love you. Come on, Miss Michelle. Come on over here. And will you grab that uh, paper right there, Miss Michelle? Which one? Right there. Nope. The white and black and red. I got a project for you kids this week. And Miss Shirley, yes. come on out. And we have a special guest, too, also, who is here. Come on there, uh, Cruz. You got to come out, too. Who is? Cruz, you got to go home and send out your master, will you please? Your owner. <laughs> and what you're going to need, what you're going to need. Come on in here, you okay. guys. All right. We got Miss Michelle. Say hello, Miss Michelle. Hello. And we got Miss Shirley. Hi. And we got Miss Barb. Hello. Hello. And they all love you. Yes, we do. And we're going to have you do something this week. You're going to need black crepe paper. You're going to need red crepe paper. Will you hold the red, Barb? I will. And you're going to need white crepe paper or any paper. And I got extra red and extra black and extra white. If you guys need any, we can send them to you, okay? And we got little prizes for you, everybody who memorized their scripture. Yeah. And I'm going to need a pair of scissors, please, and glue. You're going to need scissors and glue for this project, okay? So to see if you can do it. Remember what we were talking about, the Word of God? And uh, when we read it, and we're going to be doers of the word and not just reader of the word. And where does Jesus come to live in when we ask him? He comes to live in our heart, and we become his house. He lives in us. And do we want Jesus to be comfortable in us, don't we? And so we're going to get his word in us. And when we read his word, it's going to go in our heart. Our heart is his home. That is where Jesus lives. 
and he wants to be fed. We need to be fed to grow and be strong like Jesus so that we can touch others and, and be Jesus to others. We're not Jesus, but he can live his life through us. The more we let him move in and the more rooms we give him. Okay, so you got your black crepe paper. You're going to put that down. We got our red crepe paper. And we're going to cut a heart out of the red crepe paper. You can help have your mom help you if you need to. We're going to cut a heart. It's riveting TV. Yeah, cut a heart. Is that a heart? No. no. That's not a heart. That's not a heart? No. All right. Is that a heart? I don't think so. Oh. Let's try this one more time, okay? If you have to draw a heart, draw a heart. Get a heart. We got to get a heart somewhere, huh? Okay. Here we go. Is that a heart? That's a heart. Oh, yes. that's a heart. Nice heart. We need one more heart. So you're going to want to get two, cut out two hearts, however you do it. Okay. Here we go. You know, I think your heart turns out different every time. Everyone has a different heart. Nobody has the same heart. There's another heart, and you're going to want to glue one heart down. So we're going to put some glue on that heart, and we're going to glue it on the black paper right here. Right there. And then with the white crepe paper, we're going to cut this in a strip like this. Just like this. Cut one strip. Just like that. Then we're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to fold it again in half. And just you're going to cut right up this where it's hooked together, right here. See that? If you can see it. You're going to cut right there. And that's going to make like a book. See that? Like a book. And then we're going to glue that on top of the heart. I'll show you when I'm done. You're going to glue that on top of the heart. And it will stay once it sits. And then you're going to put the other heart on top of that. And you know what? You can write in those little papers before you put the heart on. You can write what your scripture of the week was. Okay? And it was... Okay, and do you see that? You've got the heart, and in between that heart, you've got the Word of God. And we need to keep the Word of God in our heart, don't we? We need the Word of God in our heart, and we need to know what it says, and we need to, when the storms come up, like when she built, who the wise, the wise man built his house on Jesus, and the foolish man built his house on the sand. And we want to be the wise man. Wise, right here, wise man. So we're going to keep that word hidden in our hearts. And that way when we need to be the doer of the word, we're going to know what to do. Is that right? Okay. So everybody here today, they miss you and they love you. And we'll be back together next week. Until then. Bye. Have a good week. We love you. Bye-bye. Love you.